Hello Cancers, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your general love message, your weekly love reading, okay? Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, your spirit guides, and your ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, guys, we're going to take a look and see what is going on for you. If you hear the noise in the background, I'm sorry. It's just a heater. Uh, I live in the Midwest, y'all. It's cold out here, and so I don't like to be cold. So I have a little, little tiny heater going on. If you hear it, I'm sorry. But we're going to go ahead and get into it. So your energy showing up in love this week. We have the tower. The energy of the person that you're dealing with will be dealing with or we're dealing with. We have the five of wands. And the challenge between the two of you, we have the knight of pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the king of pentacles. Yeah, I just kind of feel like something is lacking stability at this time. And I feel like it has been this way for a while. I, I do feel like you've especially, Cancer, have been feeling this way. Feeling like things have been either not moving forward or just feeling very unstable. Like you're not fully sure where you stand with a person. Um, with this King of Pentacles, this Ten of Wands energy right underneath this. Okay. Now, I do feel like you're wanting to move forward with somebody to have a new chapter. We have the Six of Swords. And at the bottom of the Six of Swords, it says, All aboard. It's time for a new chapter. So I feel like you're wanting things to move forward with somebody here. And, you know, there's something about this person or this connection where your intuition has not let you down. I, I, that's what I feel like saying is so far, Cancer, your intuition has not let you down. Your intuition has been spot on um, with this person, with this connection up to this point. And there is something about this person or this connection where I do feel you're feeling like this is something that is for you. Like this is your person. You feel like this is, you know, intuitively you just feel like something needs to be moving forward here. And your intuition has not let you down, okay? It has not. That being said, you have that high priestess here. That being said, I feel like something is struggling right now, you know? I feel like that Ten of Wands, it could just be feeling like things are, it, it, it's, it's getting too hard to stay where you are in this connection. So the challenge here between the two of you, we have that Knight of Pentacles energy. Yeah, things feeling like they're at a standstill, things feeling like they're not moving forward. And I just think it's getting really challenging um, to deal with that. So you do have this Tower energy here and they have the Five of Wands. To me, I'm going to be honest, guys, it does look like there's going to be, like, I feel like almost like some kind of or conversation is turning into some kind of conflict. Okay, some kind of argument here. I feel like you could be at odds or having words with a person here and it could be kind of creating a tower between the two of you but we are absolutely going to um, get into this now so we're going to take a look and see we're going to clarify some of these and we are also probably going to pull what this person's intentions what their next action and what the potential outcome is here as well okay so tell me about this five of wands energy why is that here why is this five of wands energy here we have the Ten of Swords. And the Seven of Cups. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. What's this Knight of Pentacles energy here for? Okay, let's see what came out. We got the Six of Cups. And we have this Tower energy here. With the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you need more. Um, you're needing more, okay? Whether this is like more time, more effort, more energy, more attention, more stability. I'm um, needing to know like where something is at and where it's going. Um, you could feel like there's an imbalance here. We have the Five of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like there's going to be some kind of argument. Now, guys, keep in mind that it is a broad spectrum here. This does not have to be for all of you a full like giant fight but it could be you being at odds and you having some words there's been some tense moments between you and a person and i do feel that here um because i feel like you've been very very patient i do i feel like saying that i feel like you guys have been very very patient very very understanding and it's just getting it's just getting very challenging okay 
So with this six of cups energy of two sixes here, you also have that six of swords. Sixes are cards of transition. It's time. You know that, they know that. And I feel like that's where some of this pressure and tension is coming from that energy kind of building up. But for some of you, I'm getting two separate messages. So you guys just take what is for you for you and leave what's not for you for somebody else. Now, for some of you guys, I feel like this person needs to end something in order to move forward or for you guys to move forward, whatever that looks like for them. Okay. Now you got that six of cups here, something from their past, you know, they could still be kind of entangled in, they have the 10 of swords here, the seven of cups. So I definitely feel, and for some of you cancer, for those of you where this is the case, where it's something they need to end, you know, you could start to be questioning, you know, are they being honest with me? Are they really planning on doing this? Um, because the Seven of Cups can be a card of confusion and illusion. Now, and it's with that Ten of Swords surrounding that ending here. Now, for others of you where it doesn't have to do with them ending something else, you know, for those of you where this is somebody who you're wanting to move forward with, but they have been through something in their past that they're still really holding on to, to me, this looks like some kind of betrayal or some kind of major ending here that has caused them to just be very slow movies, movers where, you know, they're kind of at a standstill and they're not really wanting to move things forward. And maybe at one point, I feel like there were with the seven of cups, maybe they, they presented the illusion that at some point you guys were going to be in a commitment or move forward or that that's what they wanted. Um, and now you're kind of questioning, like, did they ever really mean that? Because nothing is happening here. Nothing's moving forward. We're stuck. So I feel like this is where this conversation is coming at in this kind of tense moment. So let's take a look here. What is this person's, show me their true intentions, their next actions, and the potential outcome here this week for cancer, please. Their intentions, we have the Seven of Swords. Their next actions, the Ace of Wands. And the potential outcome, we do have the Chariot, okay. So we got the world here. I do feel like there is some kind of chapter or cycle coming to a close here. The world can also be an accomplishment. So we're going to clarify these here now. So I do like that the chariot is here. Cancer for the potential outcome to me. This could definitely be moving forward. The Ace of Wands definitely can be that card of act. It can definitely be a card of action, right? Somebody finally taking action. Um, this conversation, this fight that you're having here could literally be what <laughs> the phrase that it came to me is like lighting a fire under their butt, right? And we see this like candle here, like you could be igniting that in them to finally take this action and be able to move things forward. But I do want to take a look at this Seven of Swords energy here. Now, the thing is, is with this card here, on the bottom of this card, it says, are your actions really as selfless as you think? Now, for those of you where this person has to end something else, I feel like they've been delaying it, and I feel like it's because they're saying here, you know, um, you know, it's, oh, it's not about me, it's, you know, because I don't want to hurt somebody else or something of that effect. And even though I'm not saying that that's not true, I feel like Spirit is saying that, is that really all that there is, you know? And are you really not hurting them by not being honest with them. So just something to think about for my cross watchers here where this is resonating, okay? Now for others of you where it's the past thing, you know, I feel like this is, Seven of Swords can definitely be a card of lying to yourself and self-sabotaging. So somebody may need to really sit with that energy as well. Tell me about this Seven of Swords energy. Why is this Seven of Swords energy here? We have the Nine of Pentacles. Let's get one more. And the Six of Swords. You know, either way, for those of you where it's that they have to end something, you know, I do feel like they're going to. I feel like they've been kind of, you know, de delaying it or sabotaging things a little bit here because maybe they know that they haven't either been the most honest with that other person or they just know that somebody's going to get hurt in this situation. But I do feel like they are taking that action and they are moving things forward, okay? So I do feel like they will be doing it. Now, for those of you where it's not another person and it's just their past, to me, the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Swords, I feel like they've been lying to themselves that they are okay in this place. It's good to be good on your own. It's good to be able to be happy from that space as long as we know that we're not just staying here out of fear 
right? That we're not moving forward with something out of fear. And I feel like that's where this person has been telling themselves, no, I'm good, when really it's kind of because they've been afraid. And I feel like that could be where they're sorting this out. So either way, I do feel like this is very positive. I feel like somebody is going to take the actions necessary in order to move this connection forward. And I do feel like things are going to move forward. So I really do like this. Um, but that is what I have for you, Cancer. I hope that this helps. If this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.